So here we go with like the sixth time. You guys know how that goes, right? Phone calls, text messages, mess ups, I mean, you name it. But uh, here I am again trying to get this out. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the message on Sunday with a follow-up on the story of Jonah. Uh, Many of us are aware of the story of Jonah. We know that he um, had a call on his life to go to a specific people group and to declare the message of God. He didn't want to do that. He chose to run in the opposite direction, and uh, God sends this great fish. We don't know if it was a whale or not, but uh, often that's what we hear. But all that stuff aside, what is the story, what is the bigger picture of the story? And uh, and I would say that um, it comes down to Jonah, right? Yes, the Ninevites needed to repent. The Ninevites had to have the message preached to them, but... Um, But Jonah was the one that needed to hear this very same message of God's love, even for him. In all of his pride, in all of his prejudice, uh, God still loved Jonah, but God needed to reveal to Jonah that his love for the people uh, was greater than Jonah's love for the people, and Jonah needed to work on that. And so oftentimes we are like the Grinch. We have a heart that is two sizes too small. And uh, God may be wanting to do something in our lives, and so he allows our paths to cross with people maybe who are not like us. Or maybe he sends us to another country or culture to experience things that are different than what we're used to so that our hearts will be uh, expanded, so that our love will grow, so that we will become more like him. God loves the whole world. We know this from John 3.16, that Jesus died for the entire world. Um, And so God wants us to love the people the way that he loves the people. Uh, As I wrap up here, let me just um, suffice it to say that uh, it's not just about other people. It is about what God's trying to do in your heart, in your life. And so whether it's learning patience, whether it's being kind, whether it's being more loving, um, whatever's going on in your life right now, uh, it's, it's not just about somebody else. It's about you too. And God is trying to work something in your heart to make you more like Him. Every mission uh, can seem impossible, but we know that all things are possible with God. And, um, and sometimes the hardest mission is not somebody else. The hardest mission is ourselves.